Hello my sparrows! So I am doing a video that I am super uncomfortable with but I still hope that you can use it as a resource. Oftentimes when we're in the studio there's all of these stage secrets, stage makeup secrets, and dance history moments that you might miss out on just because you're working on things like your turnout, your extension, your pirouettes, your leaps, etc. So I'm hoping that with some of the videos that we post throughout this quarantine that they can educate you outside of the dance studio but still feed your dancer soul. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm really uncomfortable with doing this but um, you guys can help see me through it. So on one half of my face I'm going to do makeup for a female dancer and on the other side of my face I'm going to do for a male dancer. So I might look a little bit goofy, but as long as you guys feel like you learned something, that's all that matters. Um, I am in the video, you'll see some photos up close of the color palettes that I'm using for males versus females. And this is just super standard makeup. This is just, you know, a normal recital, a ballet performance. If you're performing in a smaller, more intimate venue, then your makeup is not gonna be put on as heavy. If you're performing in a huge venue that has the orchestra, the mezzanine, the balcony, and so on and so forth, then you're gonna layer it on and you're gonna make sure that it's a lot darker. So to start with, men and women, you're gonna do your concealer. I'm old now, so I have to do my under eye concealer. So go ahead and do that. Um, we'll start here. Your foundation for stage is often pretty standard as if you were wearing your regular makeup. You might, depending on the ballet itself, you might have to use a darker foundation or a lighter foundation. Um, oftentimes you have to do extreme different, extremely different colors because you are trying to portray a certain character. So again, this is just pretty standard makeup as if you were like in the waltz of the flowers or a snow flake and the snow scene in Nutcracker. Um, obviously if I was playing a granny or a grandpa my makeup would be a lot different or like in Swan Lake we have the evil characters and they have very very dramatic makeup so that's not the kind of makeup we're covering today we're just covering how to do standard stage makeup. So, it might be, I've always watched these music, or not music, I've always watched these makeup tutorials and been so impressed with how brave everybody is, because the last thing I want to do is put makeup in front of people. But, another cool, but something that is cool about makeup is the kind of, like, the ritual of it before you go on stage. You're in your dressing room with your best friends and you're getting ready to accomplish the same masterpiece and you're talking, you're laughing. There's always been music in the dressing rooms backstage when I've been in productions with my friends and it's just part of really taking care of the performance and the craft of what we're about to see on stage. Okay, so my foundation is on and the foundation is going to be the same for men and women. Just find the color that matches your skin. I'll go ahead and do blush next. So for ladies, we have a bright pink blush. It's kind of like a Barbie pink. Sometimes I use my lipstick to make it a little pinker, but today I'm just gonna do my Barbie pink blush and follow the line of my cheek. Now I am not a makeup artist. I hope I don't make a whole lot of Makeup artists feel so totally insulted. That is not my intention at all. You guys went to college and all kinds of school, cool schooling for this, so please don't let me try to be you. This is a darker brown blush for the gentleman. So they'll put a darker brown on their cheek. And now men have more, often a more square jawline. I have a feminine cheekbone line, so you'll have to follow the lines of your own face. Okay, so I have the Barbie pink on the feminine side and a little bit darker brown on the masculine side. Okay, I'm going to start with the female eyeball. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I have a light pink, oops, 
have a light pink. I often use white if I have white, but I'm saving my white for the boy side. All right, so I do it all the way up to my eyebrow line and just kind of get it all over. The nice thing about stage makeup is that people are super far away from you, so if you mess up, it's not anything too dramatic. But So I was talking a little bit about stage makeup backstage and how it's like a ritual. It gets you in the zone. It really is so important, even to the choreographers, they always send out how they want you to wear your makeup and everything because you've trained for months and weeks and you've hurt your body and you've been resilient and you've gotten strong and then you get to do the makeup. And the makeup only takes half an hour, but without the makeup, the final product just doesn't do it justice. Okay, so I use a dark purple or you can use black. Today I'm gonna to use a dark purple. You want your eyes to really pop and stand out on stage. So I'm gonna lean in here and I give myself a wing with the eyeshadow to begin with. You'll add another wing later with the eyeliner. I have to lean in to my mirror here. I don't have my glasses on so it's hard to see you far away. See, I'm seriously not a professional makeup artist, but we're in this together, right? That's what we keep hearing and hashtagging. And oh, goodness gracious, I am glad that we're in it together. There's something comforting in knowing the fact that the entire globe is going through this and like, not just me, but we do what we can. Okay, so I plaster that on pretty well. I gotta lean in a little closer so I can see. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, that's a quick round of the first wing. Okay, so you want your eyes to look really big. Those stage lights are so harsh. I don't know if you can see that. Stage lights are so harsh, so sometimes it just totally washes you out. So now I have a gold. You can also use a brown, but I like gold. So, you know, more shine, more shimmer. Oftentimes, if you're in like a more contemporary dance piece, the makeup won't be so dramatic. This is very specific to more of a recital look. Okay, I take the gold and I start right in the corner of my eye and I bring it up. It just kind of gives you more depth, more dimension. Opening those eyes so that they don't disappear under the lights on stage. Okay. And I'm actually going to take it up to my brow line, starting mid-brow. Right here. So I'm not going to take it all the way to the edge of my brow. I'm starting to kind of paint it out this way and following the wing that I started to create. Now remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go back and fix it. It's kind of like you can start with a fuzzy ponytail and then you add the hairspray for all your wispies a little bit later. Okay, so I'm going to go back, touch up some of the purple in here. So that there's a little more blending. And then we don't want to look like we have black eyes. So I come back to my bright pink or the pale pink and blend it a little bit more. And then I'm going to do some more along the brow line. So your eyes will pop, but you don't want to have a black eye. You have to have separation from the dark part on the eyelid up to the eyebrow. Unless, of course, maybe you're a rat in the nutcracker, then you wanna have big, dark, spooky eyes. Okay, I'm gonna switch over and do the male side. So on the female side, we do wings, okay? On the male side, it's gonna be a little more rounded here. So I avoid doing the wing altogether. We just want to do this. And this is a super dark, dark brown. I do recommend dark brown for all my boys. We have some teenagers on our competition team, team and their mommies do such a beautiful job of giving them that rounded brown to make their eyes pop. Some of my younger male students, they freak out about putting makeup on and then I have to tell them, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he has to wear makeup every time he's in a movie. And they're like, no way, not the rock, but yes way, definitely the rock. Okay, so I did my first layer of the dark brown. Now here's the white. 
Now, gentlemen also have to make their eyes puff. And they also don't want to have big black eyes. So I'm going to do the white right under my eyebrow. All the way between the brown and the brow. Here we go. Okay. So that's pretty much the eyeshadowing for ladies. We have ladies here and we have gentlemen here. Okay. So then we have the eyeliner. For our ladies eyeliner, we're gonna do a wing. For the gentlemen, you can actually just do the under part of the lid. You don't need to do the top of the lid. So ladies, we'll do the top, the bottom, and take it out into a wing. So, here we go. This should be interesting doing this on camera. So, let's see here. I'm gonna do the underneath part of my eyeball. That was probably freaky. Eyeballs freak me out. I don't wear contacts, so every time I'm on stage, I'm blind, I really gotta feel it out. So I get to the corner, I pull my skin just a tiny bit, I follow the line of the eyeshadow. Don't be afraid to take it all the way out. It kind of is the finishing touch to make those eyes really stand out. I'm gonna skip the top today because I don't wanna waste too much time. And then the gentleman will just do the under part of your eyeball. That's probably so freaky to watch. Man, it makes you really appreciate all these beautiful, beautiful people who do their makeup tutorials. <clears throat> okay, then we have mascara. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I do mascara and then I put on the fake eyelashes. But I see dancers do their fake, like, fake eyelashes and then take the mascara and blend their eyelashes in with the fake ones. So gentlemen, unless it's mandated by your choreographer, you don't need to do fake eyelashes. Um, and then ladies, good luck with fake eyelashes. I can't do fake eyelashes, so we'll just pretend like I put them on, okay? My husband always puts my fake, like, fake eyelashes on for me. He's a keeper. All right, so we do the top, we do the bottom, and there we go. Then we go over to the male side of the face. So gentlemen don't have to wear too, too much makeup, especially if you're a teenager or younger. We don't wanna freak you out and turn you off to ballet, right? Or the girls either. I have seen plenty of student melt down while they're trying to figure out how to do their stage makeup. So dancers, this is a perfect opportunity for you to grow in that craft. Okay, so I have a neutral colored lipstick right here. Gentlemen, you'll wear a nude, a neutral like this or close to like a more brown color. Ladies, recitals, ballets, unless anyone tells you different, the hottest hot red that you can get. Today I'm just gonna do neutral on both sides, but we'll just do our lipstick. This is a final touch. Oh, here's a stage makeup tip. Always put your costume on first. You can have all your makeup done, your hair, whatever. Always put your makeup on first and then put your lipstick on because nobody wants red lipstick on a snow tutu. All right, well, that's all that I have for today. So we have your standard female look with the wing especially separates it. And then your standard male look. All right, so I hope you guys have fun and that you can use some of this time to practice doing your stage makeup, okay? All right guys, I can't wait to see you. I can't get, wait to get back into rehearsals and classes and we are behind the scenes coming up with some pretty cool performance opportunities. So um, we just can't wait for the green light. Stay healthy, wash your hands, love your families, even if they start driving you crazy, okay? Don't sass your moms and dads. All right, bye sparrows.